Hey, John here. Let's talk about sine and zero extending binary numbers. Well, the way we do this, uh, well, first of all, this is a section of this RISC-V assembly language programming manual I'm working on. Someday I might actually finish it. I'm in section 2.3, so we go to the table of contents here and find 2.3, sign and zero extension, that's where I'm at. You don't have your own copy? Then go to Google and type in RVALP. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm the first one. There I am. Okay, there you go. That's how you can find your own copy. Go over here to Releases and GitHub and scroll down to Assets. There's a book PDF. That's what you're looking at right now. Those are the notes that I'm using, okay? All right, so what is this all about? If you have a binary number, okay, so these are binary values. You can see the ones and zeros here. And it is a signed twos complement number you can easily make a short number into a bigger number, okay? If that's what you want. If you have a 4-bit binary number, you can turn it into what looks like an 8-bit number here, or I don't know how many bits this is, or maybe 32, however many this is. You can take the sign bit, the most significant bit of the number, and then just replicate it as many times as you want to put as many bits over here to the left without changing the magnitude of what the two's complement value represented in the first place, right? That's not a problem. What if it's a positive number? Again, two's complement, it's the sign bit. Remember, you're replicating the sign bit when you're adding more bits over here. So no matter how many zeros there are to the left of this value, it's still going to be 12 in decimal, right? 8 plus 4 is 12. So it's 12 here, it's 12 here, and down here as well, just like these are all negative ones up here. All right? So in conclusion, any sign number can have any quantity of additional most significant bits added to it. It can be extended to any size, provided that they repeat the value of the sign bit that you had when you started. All right? Now, this is obviously a work in progress. I got some diagrams down here that are a little bit nicer that talk about here's the most significant bit with a little marker in there, and you can clearly see that they're extended to the left, okay? Here's an example of a positive one, uh, whatever the value of this is, and a 20-bit value. If you took the sign bit here and replicated as many additional bits as you wanted, you could convert a 20-bit value to a 32-bit value like this, all right? Now, that's all fine and dandy. What if the value is not a two's complement binary number? What if it's an unsigned binary number? In other words, what happens if this is uh, represents 15 rather than negative 1, right? If I'm interpreting this 4-bit pattern as an unsigned number, the value would be 15. Just like up here, if I was interpreting this 4-bit number as a signed value, it would be negative 1. So what do you do here? Well, if it's unsigned... You cannot just replicate what would be this sign bit to the left, simply because it's unsigned. It has no sign bit. So if you want to make this in a 4-bit number into a 32-bit number, you use what's called zero extension. All right? So any unsigned number may be zero extended to any size. All right. And again, here's some more diagrams of what it looks like. And a little note to myself remove the sign bit boxes, all right? Yeah, I got to get around to fixing these pictures someday. So yeah, you do not replicate this bit when you're dealing with an unsigned number, right? You can clearly see in this example, the, the, uh, the original value is, stays here and any additional bits are zeros. I mean, that works the same way in decimal as well, right? I mean, this should be intuitive. What's new, perhaps, is this idea that you would use sign extension, this, this, this replicating of the sign bit, all right? Do a couple on paper to confirm that it works for you like it does for everyone else, all right? So that's all there is to extending binary numbers, both signed and unsigned. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.